if you guys want some coins to jumpstart on these methods, get ready for new content or just whatever, really, go check out bestmobilecoins.com. They're always on time, they're always in stock, and they're super reliable. Use my code Saber to get yourself a discount. Hey, what is going on, guys? Sabretooth back on Mad Mobile, and today we are going to be talking about some really good coin methods, just a few of them, real quick, that I've been using lately. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can benefit from them as well. In addition to that, we are going to be talking about a few crazy sets that just released on console. And they may be coming to mobile soon as well. If they do, guys, it would absolutely shake up the market. So I just want to prepare you guys as best I can for some new content that you never know could drop into mobile as well. Guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure hit that subscribe and smash that like button, guys really does help out a ton you guys are the best let's get right into it so first of all as you guys can see today we have crystal legend kevin green which is very interesting on console he was not a crystal legend and nobody thought he was going to come into the game as a crystal legend but here he is decent stats not great speed but everything else is pretty solid the plus two strength is nice and the matt forte obviously i think this guy deserved a flashback card or throwback card rather not great stats and a little bit disappointing with the plus two carry definitely don't plan on picking him up but he was a very good player back when he with the was with the bears he's still good now but definitely deserved that card first thing i want to talk about is the sets that i just mentioned to you guys there are three i believe or four new sets that just came into the game that should really revive some stuff on console and hopefully they bring it into mobile as well so pretty much they're trading sets for some of the promos that went on throughout the entire year so on console the first one is a flashback master julio jones 99 overall you trade in all the flashback players and you get a 99 julio with 95 speed 96 jump 95 catching 95 catch in traffic 99 spec catch 96 agility some really crazy stats on him next one david johnson Team of the Week Master, you have to turn in all the 36 Team of the Week Hero players. So for us, I'm not sure how they would do that if they were to pull it off on mobile. But that card is really, really good as well. 95 speed, 96 acceleration, 93 agility, 94 jump, 95 trucking, 95 juke move, 94 carrying. You guys get the idea. That card would be insane. Now, the reason that I want to talk to you guys about this while making a coin making method real quick is because these could really shake up the market. Dominique Rogers Cromartie will be the football outsiders master if it does come to mobile and you need 40 specific football outsiders players. And this card is pretty good as well. Obviously, DRC always has pretty good cards. He's tall. He's fast. This card, 96 speed, 98 acceleration, 95 awareness, 96 agility, 97 jump, 97 man, 94 zone. Really, really good stats there. But the one that I think you guys will probably be the most interested in is the legend trade-in. Now, they had a, I believe they had a set like this last year where you traded in a couple base legends in for an ultimate legend and they just brought it back into madden console if you turn in any extra legend players from 90 to 96 overall you can trade in 15 of them to earn one random full ultimate legend now this would be really really fun especially for videos i'm trying to see if there's any decent snipes on this filter i'll show you guys the filter right after this there is an eddie lacy but that's not a great price for him so i'm not going to go ahead and pick him up but if this really did actually drop into mobile that would really shake up the prices of legends now there are a lot of bad ultimate legends such as the fullback for one is a terrible ultimate legend his name is just slipping my mind right now but i'm trying to look for the ultimate legend logo here it is so ultimate legends 97 and up i believe they start at this would be a very interesting set. Now, I don't think that they could do 15 because the market on mobile is really crashed right now for these Ultimate Legends. And some of these cards are worth as little as 300,000 coins. Even the best cards, they're really not going for too much. Marshawn Lynch used to go for millions. Just the normal one. Now, he's not even going for 1 million. So, this would be really, really interesting. Imagine if they did this for a boss trade-in. I don't think I could see them ever doing that. That would be absolutely insane. But if you guys want to go out there and just buy a few legends 
just why not you can go out there snipe a couple legends i'm sure there's some decent legend sniping filters that you guys can find i used to be a fan of sniping these legends earlier on when they were worth more but now i believe they all go for about 60,000 coins so i don't really see any reason to snipe them i suppose you can scroll snipe like that ray niche key that's not a bad price for him at 53k let's go take a look if i'm trying to pick that guy up i'm sure you guys can come up with something for sniping these legends if you really want to ray niche key is that a decent price at 53k it's not bad i'll pick it up so there we go niche key for 53,000 coins i wouldn't really consider that a snipe but if you guys want to hold on to some of these higher overall football outside players or team of the week masters or i doubt they'll do the flashback master just because we, there's such a lack of flashbacks in the game but if you guys want to prepare for that be my guest the prices there's no way they'll drop on these any more than they have it can only they can only rise up if you guys want to invest a few hundred k into that there's no way you'll lose your money and if these actually do end up coming out you guys will be making some bank now let's talk real quickly before we wrap up the video about making coins now if you guys have a lot of coins you can probably go ahead and do some stuff with the easter promo specifically regarding night train lane now i just want to reinforce this for you guys who don't have a lot of coins do not go for night train lane number one whenever you get gold players sell them off immediately number two do not make the elite set never mess around with any of that just sell off the gold players for 9,000 coins they will sell and you're gonna get your money back much better than you will if you risk it and put them into the elite player trade-in now easter 99 overall let's go take a look how much night train lane is going for now this guy varies so much on every single server which is why i can't dis definitively say for every single person if this is a good way to make coins but on my server server 4 he's going for about 2 million coins which is pretty solid now if you guys keep in mind you need 25 elite players to finish this guy's to finish this guy off so if you guys have a lot of coins you may want to start sniping elites that's what i've been doing lately all you have to do is go elite easter players and i like to look under 55,000 coins and you go ahead and search and try to find these players now no auctions found that time but that's honestly fine they will show up for 60k guaranteed but if you guys are able to snipe them all off for about 55,000 coins and sell them, I don't know why I put 6,000, and you sell them for 2 million coins, there's one right there. Looks like the round actually did just drop. We'll pick up Vernon Hargreaves. That's not too bad. You'll be able to complete him for just under 1.4 mil. You sell them off for 2 mil, and you make almost 400,000 coins by doing absolutely nothing. Okay guys, so a few last things before I wrap up this video. Number one, I want to talk a bit about position heroes. Now, these were so hyped at the beginning of the year. You could invest in them, you could make so many coins, but now it's just kind of faltering off. And I think the reason for that is number one, there is no more data mining. So nobody can find out which players come the next day. Therefore, investing, it is so hard, it is so risky. And honestly, you have no idea when your investment is going to pay off. Now, last week was a bit of an anomaly because they repeated two players, Ogard and D-Tackle. They both bumped up new cards to 99 overall. Yet, for some reason, the prices of the Elite and Gold players really didn't change too much. Number one, I think it was because these cards aren't very good in the first place. And number two, it was because honestly, nobody expected it or... There was just such a stockpile of them just sitting around on the market. Nobody really cared to go ahead and raise the price by listing it for more. They were just sitting there. Now, what you guys with a lower amount of coins can do is go ahead and invest now. Now, prices are quite low on the market. And if I were you, I would start buying up some kickers, buying up some punters. I know I talked about this a long time ago, but we have gone through the entire roster and we still have never seen a kicker, punter, quarterback, or halfback. Now, halfback, if they release a good card, those should definitely go up in price. And kicker and punter, 99 overall at those, those would go for so many coins. So definitely, you're not going to be losing any money by doing this. But it's a pretty safe investment. Maybe just invest every day, maybe 50, 40,000 coins. Just snipe off some of these players. Save them on your bench. And guys, it should pay off in the long run. Very last thing I want to show you is for you guys who have a bit more coins. I've been using this filter lately. Here it is right here. 
you take out the Bears, the Chiefs, you can take out the Jags if you want to to remove, I believe, Allen Robinson. You take out the Redskins, then the Falcons, the 49ers, and the Raiders, 96 overall and up. And right here, I was searching up Marcus Golden because a card dropped last round that was actually pretty decent. It's a good price on him. I could probably flip him for about, oh my goodness, I missed the round, guys. Leonard Williams, speak of position heroes, Leonard Williams dropped for 110,000 coins. Now, it's kind of a shame I wasn't on the filter at this time. I could have had a shot at him. I don't think that would have, it probably would have gone pretty quickly. But as you guys can see, this is a filter I've been using. Golden, this guy, if I had more coins, I would definitely buy it. I can flip him right now for 30 to 40,000 in profit. And you guys can see cards like Leonard Williams are going to be showing up. You guys can make a lot of bank off of this filter. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy and you want me to keep rolling out those coin methods, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. Turn on those notifications. You guys are the best. Go out there, make some coins, break some ankles. Stay hungry, stay humble, and remember, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.